Hi. I'm going to play a tune I call Why Am I So Happy? Which is kind of a, a good question during a pandemic. Why would anybody feel happy at this time? Periodically I do, but actually I wrote this before the pandemic. So um, I, I used to call it happy and you'll see why. So then I tried to record it, and I kept making a mistake, and then I wasn't happy anymore. So a tune called Happy was making me unhappy. It's the last time I ever called a tune that. So I decided to change the name of the tune. I have the power. Composers have that. I decided to call it Why Am I So Happy. Why am I so happy? <laughs> you see a mistake there. And it also made me think of why I got into jazz. This isn't jazz, this is more like Bach two-part invention, a little bit. It's got two notes, moving different directions, stretching out, coming back together, moving parallel across the keyboard, different intervals. All you need is two notes, really, and you got something special happening. And um, so why I got into jazz was I, I rebelled against classical music. I was in high school. And we had, back then, this is kind of the early 70s, um, directors could be jerks. They could say things. They could humiliate people. They thought humiliation would help get better performance from people. It didn't work with me so much. I mean, I was good, but <laughs> I'd get really nervous. And sometimes I drove the directors crazy because they didn't know if I was going to actually play the right notes during the solo in the concert. I did, but they were unsure. So, because I got nervous. So, it was a great relief after high school to just rebel and uh, rebel against the tyranny of a director and explore what was in my own head. Explore those notes rather than what was written on a page. And um, the freedom of jazz is that you can play a wrong note and it's, it's not a mistake, it's an opportunity because you try to figure out how to make that wrong note work in your solo. And oftentimes you can. And it actually can lead to some, something new that you wouldn't have done if you were trying to be proper and play everything just right. So that was liberating, but now I'm composing music and, and I write notes out on the page and I'm trying to reproduce them because I kind of like the way they sound, so I'm, <laughs> I'm under my own tyranny. But anyway, I'll play this tune for you um, and uh, called Why Am I So Happy? It's kind of an interesting thing about this uh, because it sounds kind of happy, but it ends in minor and minor. That doesn't mean that it's unimportant. That means in music that it's in a minor key. Which sounds kind of sad or introspective or something. But if you play it a little faster, it, it can sound kind of happy. And it starts in major. There, you see, it, it turns a little darker. <laughs> oh, poor tune. 
So one of the nice things about music is that you can combine happiness and uh, sadness together. And, and maybe that's what a lot of us feel right now in terms of the uh, pandemic, because there's been a lot of suffering and a lot of incompetence about how to deal with it. Um, but there's been something, a lot of things that maybe life has slowed down a little bit. Maybe people have found new meaning, uh, resourcefulness they didn't know they had, um, discoveries maybe out of the of nature, of the outdoors. The outdoors is beckoning now in ways it, it hadn't before. So that's one thing I like about music is that you can, it can be, it can carry sadness at the same time it's happy and jubilant or, or celebratory. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, hope you enjoyed.